On November 1, 2012, it was announced by Orange County Coroner's Office that Mitch Lucker had died from injuries incurred from a motorcycle accident. The coroner's office said Lucker was pronounced dead at 6.17 a.m. Thursday at UCI Medical Center in Orange County. One report stated that Lucker crashed his motorcycle shortly after 21.00 on October 31st. An official status was also posted on the band's Facebook page. It said, There's no easy way to say this. Mitch passed away earlier this morning from injuries sustained during a motorcycle accident. This is completely devastating to all of us and we offer our deepest condolences to his family. He will be forever in our hearts. R.I.P. Mitchell Adam Lucker. We love you brother. Suicide Silence is an American extreme metal band from Riverside, California. The group consists of guitarists Chris Garza and Mark Heilman, drummer Alex Lopez and bassist Dan Kenny. They are currently without a lead vocalist after the death of Mitch Lucker on November 1, 2012. Formed in 2002, the band has released three full-length studio albums, one EP and seven music videos. The group has been met with a great amount of praise and favorable reviews while even during 2009. Suicide Silence was awarded with the Revolver Golden God Award for Best New Talent. Formation, debut EP in The Cleansing, 2002-2008 Suicide Silence were founded in 2002 in Riverside, California and were at that time, a side project of many of the members of other groups. The band performed their first show at a local area within Riverside and at that time, the lineup consisted of the members Chris Garza and Rick Ash as guitarists, Mike Bodkins as bassist, Josh Goddard as drummer and two vocalists, Mitch Lucker and Tanner Womack. Shortly after their first performance, Womack was fired from the band and they released their first demo the following year. They released their second demo in 2004. By the preceding year, the members took the band more seriously and were no longer deemed as a side project. They would then advance to record their third and final demo in 2006 after the band recorded and released their first public studio quality material entitled Suicide Silence EP which was released through Third Degree Records and later re-released in the UK through the English label in at the Deep End Records. Drummer, Josh Goddard departed from the band in 2006 and was replaced by Alex Lopez who was the former guitarist for the band's Blatchard eulogy and the funeral pyre before his joining. Two years later, the band signed to Century Media and released their debut full-length album The Cleansing. The album was mixed by Tuesday Madsen, produced by John Travis and features artwork by Dave McKean. It debuted at number 94 on the Billboard 200, selling 7,250 copies in its first week of release. The sales of that weekend in combined with its later sales made The Cleansing one of the best-selling debut albums in Century Media history. With the success of their debut album, Suicide Silence were included to take part in Mayhem Festival that took place during the summer of 2008. Afterward, they toured Europe with Parkway Drive and Bury Your Dead following a successful U.S. tour with the same bands. Suicide Silence then followed along with a tour in Australia with Parkway Drive, a day to remember and the Acacia Strain in mid-2008 bring the time when they were included to perform at Sweet Fest. At this point Suicide Silence were beginning to gain a wide range of fans throughout the world. While returning back home from the continuous tours, 
the band covered the song, Engine Number no. 9, by Deftones and released the cover on their limited edition, Green Monster single as well as iTunes all bring the same year. No Time to Bleed, 2008-2010 Revolver described the band's live performances as, explosive and relentless. Shortly before embarking on Mayhem Festival in summer 2008, Suicide Silence's MySpace profile title read, Suicide Silence, is writing a new album, which was the first indication of ensuring the upcoming of their second album. On June 26, 2008, Mitch Lucker appeared on the Headbangers Ball blog podcast. In the interview, Lucker stated that the album would be recorded through tracks as opposed of being recorded live, such as The Cleansing. He also said the new album would blow The Cleansing away. Machine was chosen by the band to be the producer of the album. The title for it was revealed as being No Time to Bleed. Suicide Silence began recording No Time to Bleed in February with production by acclaimed producer Machine and engineering by Will Putney. Bring music as a weapon as well as the band's cleansing the nation tour, they began to perform the songs No Time to Bleed, Your Creations, Lifted and Wake Up months before the release of the album. In April they received the Revolver Golden God Award for Most Innovative Band and performed at the awards show. Suicide Silence were included on 2009's Pedal to the Metal Tour, along with the band's Mudvayne, Static X, Bury Your Dead, Dope and Black Label Society. During the same year, the group was awarded the Golden God Award for Best New Talent. Suicide Silence released No Time to Bleed on June 30, 2009 through Century Media. The album peaked at number 32 on the Billboard 200, selling 14,000 copies in the first week in the United States alone. The opening track from the album, Wake Up, was released as a digital download-only EP which includes the original song, a live performance of it in a remix handled by Sean Crahan of Slipknot. A music video was produced for the song as well and made its debut premiere on Fearnet. Genocide was released as the album's second single. Its music video was created in collaboration with Bloody Disgusting and a remix for the song was featured in the Saw the Sixth soundtrack. Suicide Silence announced production for a music video for the song, Disengage, of which was released as a single on April 20, 2010. The video for it was released during June 2010. The band played throughout the entire Warped Tour 2010, on the Altec Lansing stage. In October, the group began their first headlining tour in two years with support from My Children My Bride, Molotov Solution, the Tony Dance Tap Dance Extravaganza and Conducting from the Grave. The Black Crown and the Death of Mitch Lucker, 2011 present. By 2011, Suicide Silence began preparing their third full-length album in Big Bear. California with Steve Evitz as the selected producer. During March, the group performed at California's Metal Fest, and a week later, Nevada's Extreme Thing Festivals. At both of these performances, the band confirmed that the new album would be titled The Black Crown. Working titles for the album were, Cancerous Skies, Human Violence and, Fuck Everything. When asked by Kerrang, Lucker revealed that the album's lyrical themes would feature more of the personal topics that No Time to Bleed had in concept rather than the anti-religious theme that the cleansing held. Lucker explained, I still have the same beliefs and same views, but I'm more open to everything. At this point in my life, 
I don't see the good in making people hate you for something you say. This record, The Black Crown, is for everybody. The song, Human Violence, premiered on radio station Liquid Metal on May 13, 2011. The Black Crown was released on July 12, 2011 and sold over 14,400 copies in the United States alone during its first week of release, which had it debuting at position number 28 on the Billboard 200 chart. The group was included on the lineup for the 4th Annual Mayhem Festival, again playing on the extreme stage with other metal acts including Machine Head, Trivium and All Shall Perish during July and August 2011. Styles and Influences Suicide Silence perform an extreme metal musical style known as Deathcore, which is a fusion between death metal and metalcore. The band perform this style as well as gain influences from several other extreme musical genres such as black metal, grindcore, and mathcore. The mathcore elements can be seen in the varied speed changes and complex time signatures in the band's music. The vocals of Mitch Lucker were frequently fluctuating between death growls and high-pitched scream vocals used in black metal. 44. The drumming is very fast-paced, grindcore-influenced, and employs a liberal use of double bass drumming and blast beats. The band members themselves have stated that they are influenced from groups such as Meshuga, Sepultura, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation, Necrophagist, Nile, Slipknot, Deftones and Korn.